I've never filmed a video from my kitchen before. It's a whole new, it's a whole new aesthetic, a whole new setting. Uh, but guys, I just woke up and I wanted to tell this story while it's fresh on my mind. Last night I went out to dinner with a friend uh, and she said, come with me afterwards to this birthday on the beach here in Miami, like literally on the beach. This guy set up um, a few tables and brought drinks and, and all his friends came through, right? So on the way there, my friend is like, you're gonna meet this guy there, not the, not the birthday boy, but a mutual friend. And she said, this guy's obsessed with me, like this guy's in love with me. So just be mindful, uh, you know, that, that you're gonna meet a guy who's like kind of infatuated with me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I didn't think much of it. Cause you know, women always say stuff like that. Like, oh, this guy's obsessed with me. This guy wants to marry me, blah, blah, blah. But we show up, I meet these people, and sure enough, there's a guy who is all over her like white on rice. The conversation kind of splits up, and he's talking to me about professional stuff, like what I do and what he does, and my friend is talking to some other person, and the guy that is really into her, um, he, let's call him Mark. Mark, uh he keeps chatting me up for quite some time and in my head I'm like wow like this guy I guess he he really wants to talk to me like it, it was a long it was a lengthy conversation and at a certain point he starts doing this thing with his hands like towards my chest like he, he kind of starts tapping me as he's talking to me repeatedly and immediately I think about was it an article was it a reddit post I don't even remember but last week I read something about how the way men show interest uh, is touch always. That that men, it's like an intuitive, primitive thing that when a guy is into you, he will find a way to touch you. Even if it's just putting his hand on your back, on your shoulder. So I'm like, I wonder if that's what's happening or this guy's just kind of, he was also very drunk. So it could just be that, you know, it could mean a million things. So I didn't think that much of it, but my my mind went straight to that um, that thing that I had read last week. So then, at some point, the birthday boy is like, "Hey, I want to take a picture of of everybody. Can everybody line up?" Blah, blah blah. So as we're walking in the direction to take this photo, the guy puts his hand over here on my shoulder or on my upper back. Within a span of ten seconds, right, we're walking. It goes from here. To lower back, he puts his hand on my butt <laughs> for a good two, three seconds. Removes the hand, we take the photo, and I'm like, okay, that's, he, he, he copped a feel. Like that, that, he's trying to give me the signals of like, are you down? Because the thing is, if you're that drunk that you accidentally touch somebody's butt, you would say something. You, you, you don't just casually put your hand on somebody's butt like, oh, whoops. So I'm in my head like, oh my God, I can't wait to tell my friend all of this after, t after this, this party, right? Like, I can't wait to compare notes with her. She's going to like lose it that the guy who's into her is also into her, her male friend. And what's weird is her and I have this thing where for whatever reason, we often attract the same guys. It's happened before. A long time ago, she brought out a, a guy that she was kind of talking to, whatever, dating, uh, but she wasn't that into him, and she brought him out for a night out, and same thing, the guy just gravitated towards me, and at the end of the night, her and I were both like, was he into you or into me? Like, we gotta figure this out. So she seems to have a habit of attracting these bi curious guys, bisexual guys, maybe down low guys, I don't know, but it was just so funny to me. And of course me, like, that doesn't upset me. Like, if anything, I was like, all right, I have entertainment for the night now. Like, I have to figure this situation out. What is this guy's deal? Is he just one of those guys that he just throws shit at the wall and sees what sticks? Like, he'll just go anywhere where he's gonna get validation. Is that what this is about? But I'm like, you really have to have some nerve to hit on this girl and then she, fr she brings a friend to the party and you hit on the friend who happens to also be a guy, like, that is, you're either bold as hell or you're 
I don't know, a scumbag. So anyway, I told my friend, of course, after this party, we laughed and she, she couldn't believe it. And yet somehow she could believe it because it's happened before with other guys that have been around the two of us. Um, I, I just think it's interesting. And, and I've said this before, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's a Miami thing, but I feel like the last few years, this kind of experience has been happening more and more that guys who present as straight or they're interested in a girl or, you know, in the room, they they somehow gravitate towards me and in the beginning i'm like oh i don't maybe it's in my head and then something happens like the touching of the butt and i'm like okay that's what's happening here for those of you who are gay watching this do you feel like this has been happening to you more as well is this just me uh is, does it depend on where in the country you live you think maybe miami people tend to be drinking when they're out right it's it's a big party scene maybe that brings out the fluidity inside of people that maybe they're too self-conscious to bring out uh, sober. I don't know. I don't know.